presentation on social responsibility of transnational corporations uh, in emerging markets. He's a professor at the Institute for World Economic Studies at the Shanghai Institute for International Studies. Mr. Li Chen, please. Спасибо. Вот если уважаемый вот, э, Владимир Иванович, Владимир, вот, э, уважаемые вот, там, там господа, но сейчас очень модно э, во всем мире говорить о китайском подъеме. Но вот мой вот, э, российский вот, э, друг мне вот, шутит. But, uh, 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 so we talk to him uh, a lot, and he. Uh, uh, so then the uh, uh, then the Chinese president talks to an American president and ask him uh, in five years' time. So what can be done and what cannot be done, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, but uh, in the last thirty years. Uh, of the Chinese reforms and the openness, uh, China, uh, China uh, on the economic plane uh, 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 has been uh, uh, developing very rapidly. And uh, now, uh, over this uh, period of time, uh, China uh, Ch China had to pay a very uh, heavy price uh, for this rapid development. And, uh, and here I'd like to talk uh, uh, with, uh, uh, about the social responsibility uh, of uh, transnational corporations, uh, which is a case in point. So we all know uh, that uh, in accordance uh, with the viewpoint of uh, uh, clean uh, economics, so social responsibility of transnational corporations. Uh, the only, 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 so the main, the main idea was to maximize profits and uh, thereafter maximizing profits. Uh, besides that, transnational uh, uh, corporations, uh, uh, they do not, uh, they're not held responsible in any other way. So they, all they have to do is to uh, maximize their profits. And that is why the transnational corporations uh, operating in uh, in uh, in developing countries cause a lot of serious problems uh, like uh, so, the, 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 so this is a quote from Karl Marx, not exactly, but, but the idea is that uh, capitalism lives on dirty blood of the capital in his veins, so this blood is dirty. So the corporation should not only think about maximizing the profits, but protecting uh, everything around it. Um, social responsibility of, tra of multinationals is mainly mainly lies in three areas economic responsibility to shareholders social responsibility to all stakeholders non-shareholders and environmental responsibility but in real life multinationals actually try to skip this social responsibility where wherever possible in developing markets i will give you some examples in china All last year the total volume of foreign investment in china exceeded seven uh, uh, hundred enterprises and the virtual use of uh, foreign capitals exceeding one one trillion of US dollars and uh, ensuring 30% of uh, cumulative production 
in industrial profits 20 percent half of the uh, total external uh, turnover and 40 percent of gdp uh, so the foreign capital accounts for all these numbers and multinationals have become a very important pillar supporting uh, economic development of china but still many uh, corporations uh, do things that uh, uh, contradict the principles of social responsibility to avoid it they do everything to avoid it they mainly do it in the following manner first uh, bribery they uh, practice bribery according to incomplete statistics over the last 10 years or from uh, commercial bribery so 64 percent of the bribery is done by uh, multinationals and international business and it's growing at uh, 20 percent a year secondly illegal uh, uh, t tax uh, avoidance according to conservative estimation tax uh, evasion by foreign companies in china exceeds 30 billion uh, yuan or rmb a year besides uh, competition and uh, restriction and monopoly after china accession wto the investment climate for multinationals uh, became very soft and is getting softer and softer besides uh, violation of human rights uh, lower wages and remuneration many multinationals in china violate often the employees rights like extended working day long hours uh, low wages uh, 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 cursed labor limitations restrictions of freedom bad uh, working conditions uh, no weekends and uh, day offs and things like that so fourth uh, non-compliance to security standards to safety standards multinationals usually are uh, famed for their quality of life and products but not in china in china they do not really care about social responsibility in china reduce uh, 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 the safety standards and do not care about uh, uh, health of cons consumers and uh, they do not care about environment so they neglect uh, the environment protection they uh, pollute the environment and uh, carry out very energy consuming projects so there are many reasons for multinationals to uh, skip social responsibility uh, unfortunately imperfect legislation and laws very weak surveillance over multinationals uh, improper regulation insufficient social responsibility control So uh, it results in higher costs and social costs uh, of uh, the multinationals uh, activity. For achieving economic goals, 
the corporations ignore or completely neglect the social responsibility control. Now, in China, the competition is extremely stringent for foreign capital. So there is hunger for foreign capital and uh, let even alone So they will forget about everything just to get this foreign money. Uh, and as for ecology, just, you know, forget it. And uh, corporations uh, use double standards to avoid social responsibility. So they have higher social responsibility in their own country but neglect the social responsibility in developing markets and in China. For instance, in Japan, there is a very uh, strict system of product classification, which provides for that uh, first class, first rate products would be sell in, your, in, in Japan the most uh, safe and high quality, but second grade products in Japan and United States, but all the trash goes to China and other developing countries. So this is kind of unspoken mm, uh, uh, scale of uh, goods and merchandise in Japan. But as for the compliance by companies, to social responsibility standards. In different countries and industries and scales, we need to increase and create awareness uh, among employees, consumers, investors, media, and government of receiving country should protect consumers' interest by uh, enforcement of compliance. Governments should facilitate and promote social responsibility concepts and compliance by corporations and create understanding in this area. Governments should activate, should boost uh, uh, enforcement of uh, 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 compliance to create the uh, rights protection system to increase the responsibility of uh, corporations, transnational, cor multinational corporations, increasing the public control by consumers, by media, and social responsibility has to be uh, improved. They need to create systemic control too to enforce the social responsibility, create disciplinary measures and uh, types of uh, uh, punishment for illegal behavior surveillance, in improved surveillance over companies and the public control and uh, many others and uh, self-regulatory measures by corporations should be acknowledged and rewarded. So in this respect, uh, international community should uh, promote further cooperation in development and optimization of uh, behavior in social responsibility for corporations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor uh, for sticking to the uh, strict time limit. We are, very, um, we are very grateful. Can I invite questions to the presentation? Yes, the gentleman in the middle. Microphone, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Missoni, Professor for Global Health and Development at Bocconi University in Italy. I very much appreciated your intervention. 
uh, you were fundamentally highlighting that corporate social responsibility as such does not exist. Um, we obviously welcome uh, corporations to have more solidarity, have more social responsibility, not only adapting to laws, uh, but also to make step forwards. You mentioned something like the tribal bottle line, environment, uh, social attention. But the fundamental issue is that if you don't have governments, whether national or global, United Nations multilateral agreements, that strongly regulate and, and pose clear rules on how to move in this world, then uh, the free market that has been advocated before, the liberalization that has been advocated before, will make that these multinationals just go through the world doing whatever they like just to increase their profits and respond to shareholders. Now, I just want to be, bring an example. I think it's, it's very valuable to show that to reinforce the fact that corporate social responsibility as such does not exist. We do welcome it, but it's not there. In port, you may know that I'm, I'm professor of global health, as I told you, so I refer to a, a health issue. Obesity is today, and, non -chronic and, and chronic diseases are today the most important, enormous risk and issue in health for the world. Now, the contribution to this problem, fundamental contribution, comes from soft drinks and the quantity of sugar and energy added to those drinks. Now, there is a study on major corporation working in the field of soft drinks that under the pressure of consumers and for their social responsibility, they reduced the quantity of energy, let's say of sugar, in the drinks in countries like the United States or Europe, where they had to respond to pressure from governments, public opinion, consumers. However, the same damage was not, if they were really responsible, they would adopt the same policy everywhere in the world, because they would believe that this is good, and therefore they would bring this good uh, everywhere. Can now, you? the evidence is that instead, they push can the market. You please, yeah, I'm closing. Can you please they push up. the market of added energy in China, in Brazil, in Mexico. So they put the problem somewhere else, where where there is less control, and therefore we need more control and more agreement worldwide to ensure this control. So this is very important if we want really to enforce some kind of social responsibility. Thank you. Yes, I agree with you completely. Corporations. Yes, damage the, and the increase the problem. Therefore, they have to improve their social responsibility. Very many cases like that, especially in China. Many cases. I can give you many examples. So we pay very high price for that. And we want to impose even more uh, 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 stringent rules, like fines, and Italy and many uh, countries impose such measures, but they probably try to uh, do it themselves as well. Professor Li Chen for your...